Well, we've had a right game today since we've left the campsite in the Cotswolds. You can probably just about see us parked up over there. There we are, look. Parked in a paddock. We're only for a few hours. Because we are at Buscott House, which is a National Trust property. But you can drive up and park on here for free all day. And your doggy is welcome to run around on here on a lead. But unfortunately, no dogs in the gardens or grounds. So I'll have a quick mooch round on my own. Carl's gone back in the motor home. The house isn't open anyway. But we wouldn't have gone in anyway. It is really quiet here. You wouldn't think it was the middle of August. I'm going to walk back to the motor home now. We'll probably stay here for a couple of hours and chill. Beans we can. And I'm back. Cole's got all the windows and everything open so it must be hot in there. It has warmed up again. We've come out to look at the fishing lake. You drive over this bridge I'm standing on when you come in. We're just coming through Burford. There's the free parking down there. Ooh, that looked nice down there as well. Lovely traditional Cotswolds village. We have come to Stow on the Wold, and that park in there is for coaches and motorhomes. Ain't it? Yes, it is. It's a yeah. bit steep. Make sure you've got some high chocks. Yeah, we're on the highest on our big fat chocks, ain't we? Yeah, and with yeah. the air suspension up a bit. Air suspension on full. No, it's on two and a half. Oh, okay. Nearly four then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Three between 6 pm and 8 am. Well, we don't know where the village is because we're a pair of fickos. Oh, hang on. You are here. Right. I presume that road there then is Morgansbury. You say the town's up that way, so is it saying that way, village only? Maybe the village meaning in the housing or something. We've just had a drink sat outside here. Reportedly the oldest pub in England. It's called the Porch House and it was built in 947. 
and it was built on the orders of Ethelmar, who was a Cornish Saxon duke who wanted it built to accommodate pilgrims. And then part of it was redesigned in 1615. We've just had a walk round the church, but it was too dark to film. But look at these lovely buildings here. Shame there's bins everywhere though, because it's bin day. Well, tomorrow is by the look of it. Look at that for the corn building. Says it was all a brewery yard. We got up super duper early. And there's still loads of traffic. Quiet at the minute. But believe me, it will start again. Cars parked everywhere. It's really busy, man. And there's the old town cross. And cars coming again. And there you go. And another. Traffic. Traffic. And we've come to walk around the church, if we can get any quiet. St Edward's Church. In 1651, King Charles I's eldest son tried to regain the throne, but he was defeated at the Battle of Worcester, and he fled to France, and he came through Stowe on the 11th of September 1651, and this passageway is part of that route, which is called the Monarch's Way. The reality of Stowe on the Wold. Might look all lovely and you can put music over, but it's just car after car. 
here comes another one and this is early in the morning so it is a beautiful town ain't it it is but just too busy too many cars too many people yeah not for us is it no we've left Stow on the wold and we are walking into the village of Morgersbury we've never been there we don't know what's there but apart from the hum of the main road in the background we've seen one car on this road lovely to be away from all the hustle and bustle Well, this is more like it, I think. Don't you, Oggs? Yes, definitely. Very nice. I've been stuck behind this high bio lorry well farmer tractor thing how long for about 15 minutes yes and the DPF warning lights come back on oh you are kidding me no. oh brilliant oh for god's sake man uh, 